Hello again and welcome to the VK6CS Amateur Radio Channel. I think we'll take it for granted from now on that we're having fun. Now what I should have done was uh, put the camera on the other side of the board and then inverted the image. But as it is, there's not enough room. So I'm going to have to lean around the camera on the tripod as usual. Now the other day I drew a, um, an unun. Like that. That comes in there, and that goes across the first winding, got the second winding, and the third winding. That's a nine to one, remember? Um, and uh, so I put a capacitor in there because my antenna's got. This is sort of specific to what I've what, what I'm doing here. Um, the antenna I've got's got quite a lot of uh, inductive reactants in it. So then put a static train choke across there like that, and that will be the output. And then I said, well, we'll put this in a box. Oh, actually, yeah, like that. And then just have the two studs, you know, for the two connections on there, for the antenna and the ground. Um, and I said uh, I was going to make that up, and I made up that unun, and uh, I showed you the other day that the results with the unun weren't bad. So I thought, well, I'll use that, and uh, I'll actually uh, I'll, I'll I'll do what I said I was going to do, and I'll put that in a box. Now the idea is either you can connect a coaxial cable to here, or you can connect a uh, an auto ATU to that point there and that point there, and this will just bring the range of impedances on the antenna down to uh, a more comfortable range for the auto tuner to match. So <clears throat> this is what it actually looks like. There we go. So uh, I bought a plastic box and I stuck the uh, I stuck the unun in there. This is the uh, the nine to one unun that I showed you uh, on a previous video. And uh, what I've done here is there's the socket so it, it can be connected directly to the coax. But if I want to connect it to the output of an automatic ATU, there's the two studs there. So on the inside, you know, this one here goes to the outer, this one here goes to the inner on that SO239, so that the auto ATU can be connected across there. And if it's being fed with coax, the coax connector will just go on there. But that's basically uh, it. Got a bit of braid here from uh, RG213, just flattened it out to uh, give us a nice sort of ground braid if you like. There's a little uh, 3 millihenry choke here, it's actually I think it's 2.89 millihenry this one when I measured it. But it's still plenty high enough, it's not going to affect anything. And there is a 3300 picofarad, uh, I think it's 10,000 volt doorknob capacitor. And there's the antenna connection, and there's the ground connection. I've tried it, and uh, actually works quite well. So that is what uh, what that looks like when it's uh, when it's put together. All I did here was arrow dieted a bottle cap, or um, I think it might be a plastic foot off of something uh, to the bottom of the box. Um, this has got a uh, just a sticky back plastic cable uh, cable clip thing. Uh, then I put a cable tie through and uh, stuck that on there. Bit of araldite just holding that as well. So this doesn't have to last an eternity. This is just something that I'll put together just to try it and uh, see uh, see how well it would work or uh, or not work. And um, yeah, I think that's uh, that's come out quite well. So that um, uh, I don't know how it will look once it's been weathered a bit, whether these are stainless or not. But um, yeah, so that's a pretty simple thing to uh, pretty simple thing to make up, and it can be the difference between your auto tuner um, finding a match for your wire antenna and uh, and not. So there we are. I hope you found that uh, interesting or uh, uh, informative or both. And um, as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next, catch you next time. <coughs> oh, excuse me.